We're not driving the 2022 Volkswagen Golf R ourselves, but Volkswagen wanted us to drive it so badly that they organized a virtual event for us to instruct a professional race car driver to drive the Golf R. So let's get to it. Hi, my name is Benny. I'm test and development driver of Volkswagen. I'm in Austria and we are going to drive now on the ice track. Yes! <laughs> Perfect! Yes! <laughs> 2022 Volkswagen Golf R with launch control. <laughs> oh, it's going to do a drift! <laughs> whoa, 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 wee wide. Sideways, sideways, sideways. Okay, that actually looks pretty sick. Yeah, that looked pretty quick. Okay, now we need you to yell horsepower and torque. Horsepower and torque, 320 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. And what kind of motor? It's a two liter turbocharged engine here in that car. It's the EA888 and the fourth generation of the EA888. And you, and you have a DSG, right? Yes, it's a DSG, but now I'm in the Nürburgring mode. So as you can hear, it will not shift up. So I'm in the limiter now. So you can just bounce it off the limiter, no problem, all day. Exactly. This guy's flying. Yeah, yeah, that <laughs> looks amazing. You're speaking so like so well while drifting. This is awesome. To be it's, uh, it's a lot of fun here on this ice track. So it's got four motion all wheel drive, right? Yeah, it's a four motion system. But uh, compared to the old system, we, we have two clutches on the, on the rear. So we can decide how much torque we provide to one side of the car, rather left or right. It depends on the steering angle and on the power input you, you put into the car. And if you turn the wheel all the way on a drift, does that turn on your traction control and stability or no? No, no, e all the way. All the way, it's fine. Exactly. Uh, can you see my wheel? Maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can see it a bit. Yeah, yeah. There's one hairpin corner where I do it now. Okay, uh, so you're, you're on an airport runway in Austria. Next to an airport runway in okay. Austria. So now it's blocked, look. Oh yeah. Okay, that's good. The last one. Yeah, yeah. That. Okay, awesome. So they, they've, they've improved a lot in this generation from what we can tell from uh, a couple thousand miles away. <laughs> yeah, Welcome yeah. To, to the new generation of uh, yeah, interview. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then do you want to do some more stunts for us? Can you do like tight little donuts? Yes, I can do. So do I you have to change any it. settings or are you just staying in Nürburgring no. mode? Nürburgring mode. Um, because I'm on the on very um, low friction surface, I could as well choose the drift mode, but now it makes no sense because it's slippery enough because of the surface. Okay, that's pretty sick. Yeah. And you have traction fully off and it's not cutting power exactly. or anything. And then what, no. what, what's the difference between Nürburgring mode and drift mode for drifting? So the drift mode provides more torque in the very first moment to one wheel. And the Nürburgring mode, um, the function there is more like um, differential lock on the rear. Um, as you have both wheels which are turning and when you turn a lot the steering wheel, then you can decide, okay, I need more power to right or left. So it helps you to put more yaw into the car. And, and you know what you're talking about because you're a professional race car driver, right? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> okay, yeah. just, just checking. I was uh, taking part in the um, World Championship of Touring Car okay, for Volkswagen. So just driving really fast. Really fast, yeah. But okay, and then what if we wanted you to do a reverse J-turn? Could you do one of those in that? Reverse J-turn? Yeah, we can do it. Yeah. Do you have enough room there? Because that's the only way uh, I can see where you're going. Yeah, yeah, I, I will try to do it here. I cannot promise you I will, it's live now. Let's yeah. see, <laughs> I stopped the car. This is the first time you're trying this because you, you know, no, nobody else has been crazy enough to ask you, you, you to do You got to do it in front of the camera crew because there's no way they got this footage yesterday. Yeah, but they are, they are already filming me. With they the long are lens? just behind me. Yes. Right. All right. So guys, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Wait, use your reverse <laughs> camera. Use your reverse <laughs> camera. It doesn't have good resolution. Yeah, no, it's perfect. It's okay, perfect, they, they but, don't look uh, back. <laughs> yeah, I have the feeling that it will switch off if I'm going faster than 10 oh. kph. No, no. Let's, we got, there's only one way to find out. Just try, just try. I will try it. Oh. Yes! yes! <laughs> 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 That's awesome. 
some <laughs> snow for these guys. Yes, splash the camera. Ah. <laughs> okay, that actually looks very it's controllable, very fun. Do you think this is more fun on the Nürburgring or is it more fun on the winter driving course? To be honest, um, on both. <laughs> also, yeah, it's it, now I start to laugh because you know the Mark Seven. There was always uh, I was uh, was always a compromise. Uh, take the R for the ice and snow, and take the TCR or the Club Sport for the track. Um, but you now the, the new Mark Eight can do both. Okay. So it's it's really fast on the Nurburgring. Just two seconds slower than the record car, the GTI Club Sport S. I don't know if you have had that car in no. Canada. We don't get cool cars here. It was a limited limited car, 400 cars worldwide. It was a record holder on the Nürburgring, front wheel driven car. Uh, uh, should we do a, a small walk around? Let's get to the locks. All right, starting with the front end, let's look at the headlights real quick. Yeah, just show us the headlights. We've got the cool daytime running lights, which are different than the old Golf R, and we've got a line that goes all the way across, which is opposite of rear end Porsches. Yes, and you can... Exactly. And you can Over control here, the just, middle line, right? Yeah, when your full headlights on, it goes on. Yeah. All right, and then a very cool feature, what I really, really like, you see the side uh, The side skirt? Here? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the rear. It remembers you with your Golf R module. Can you see that? Yeah, I see a little like kick up. Exactly, it uh, rem remembers you to the Golf 5 R32. It's oh. the same shape. Oh, okay, I got, I got one for you then. Check out, check out what car I'm in right now. I saw already. It's so, Mark Five. And then look, look yes. at my look at my tail lights. What does the that Mark remind 6, you of? Sorry. I got yeah, some, I got some illegal Golf R tail lights on my GTI. <laughs> We're not supposed to have those. But those are cool. I remember when I had the Mark Six GTI in my own, my private car. Uh, I changed them as well. Oh, I yeah. changed from the GTI to the R tail lights <laughs> because they are a little bit more dark. Yeah, and those yeah. those wheels are actually really nice too. Yes, exactly. Those are the 19-inch Estoril rims. So is that At part of moment, like the uh, R Performance Package or something like that? Exactly, yeah. The R Performance Package you see always uh, is the rear wing here. Yeah, let's get a closer to that wing. Yeah, yeah, show us the wing. We, we always wanted a bigger wing and now I think we all, we're almost there. But now look. Can you see that one? Yeah, yeah. Is that, is, it's like a double. Is that big wing, big wang gang? Yeah. Would, that, you, would you consider that a big wing? Exactly. Yeah, for okay. for a standard for for a, for a standard car is a really big wing. Yeah. And if you look now underneath, yeah, yeah, there's a big gap. Yeah. Okay. So that's big wing gang. So now it finally now is finally. part of the club of the big wing hot, hot hatches. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that one for sure. This is the wing review. That's why there's no golf R here. Also, that wing wing makes a lot uh, a big difference on the Nurburgring. If you drive that car without the wing, oh my God, on fast speed corners, you had a lot to do on the wheel. Okay, how about the taillights and the exhaust tips? So now on the exhaust, Ooh. we've got oh, that's the, cool. that's cool. the Akrapovic, which is already might you might know from uh, from other R modules, and the taillights are full LED taillights. Are they sequential? <laughs> yes. If you oh, put cool. the Can you get someone to turn the signal and then someone to rev the engine for us? Okay, that's cool. Oh yeah, so kind of like Audi. You're not exactly. To, you're not allowed to yes, say I that, can. Bro. It's Volkswagen Audi. I can say whatever I want. <laughs> right, now the exhaust. I mean, you might know some uh, some some of these from from other group cars, but uh, now it's, uh, it's first time here in that car. That's cool. And rev the engine. Start the engine. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, there's a valve. Can you open. hear that? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's valved. I heard them if open. If you change, if you change the modes, the driving modes, and change uh, uh, the car changes as well the sound. Mach mal Nürburgring. So now this is the sound from the Nürburgring, and now throttle. We go to that one. Keep my gas. Mach mal über 3000 so. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds really good. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I have to do it yeah. because I just I just want to make sure that that is proper. Okay, thank you. Kannst du das mal einmal am Auspuff halten? Oh, 
Okay, that's cool, that's cool. There we go. Wow. So the All golf right. bar now has crackles and pops. Exactly, backfire. Oh, wow, that's, that's right, cool. Lots, lots of good changes this year so far. Yeah, that's exciting. So um, was there a soft limiter? Like, is there an R RPM rev limit that you can rev in park? I can tell you in three modes, yes. And in two modes, no. Oh, wow. Which modes? Which modes, no? If you are in the Nürburgring mode or in the drift mode, you can go up to the ref limiter and it will go bum, 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 bum into the ref limiter without shifting up. That's how, awesome. How, how long can you hold the pedal down like that until the engine blows up? <laughs> I mean, um, you can do it as long as you want. The engine will not blow up. Okay, yeah, yeah, course, good answer. Of course, if, if, it, if the engine gets too hot, then of course we would switch off. Yeah. But at the first moment when you go into the ref limiter, it's really hard, bam, 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 bam. And then it, uh, it's a little bit softer. It takes out some power, but not much. And then it's a little bit softer because it makes no sense to go for 30 seconds into the ref limiter. Nobody would do it. Eh? But on the racing track, if you drive fast, sometimes you might need the ref limiter um, between one and another corner. You don't, it makes no sense sometimes to shift up. It costs you a little bit of time. Right. So rather than you stay in the gear, and go maybe 10 meters into the ref limiter and this is maybe one or two seconds and this is fully okay. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. I, got, I got a real question for you. How much yeah, right. faster is the Golf R with Nürburgring mode on in special mode instead of non-special mode? I, I've been there once. I, I did two laps in a, a Suzuki Swift. Um, this is a very good question and I can um, answer around, it's around eight seconds. Oh, wow. Eight Five seconds eight faster seconds. with the Nürburgring mode? Yes, yes. Wow. And it's a very easy What the, hell, easy what the heck is that? How does, How does it work? The suspension in the Nürburgring mode is so if you if you start the car, it always starts up on, in sport. Yeah, with where the suspension if you have the DS, DCC uh, so the the dynamic chassis control system in the car, it's quite soft. And if you switch into race, the car gets really stiff. So it's really, really short, yeah? And when you go around the Nürburgring and when you already uh, have been there, you know that there is a lot of elevation and uh, bumps uh, in the track. So always when the car is very stiff, you lose contact to the ground. That, that is bad for traction. So out of the corner, you lose time by accelerating and at the same time on braking as well. So you cannot brake really late because the car is always bouncing and yeah, ABS yeah is engaged too early. Yeah, your, uh, your breakaways are getting too long. So therefore we uh, adjust the suspension in the Nürburgring mode. The car gets a bit softer to make sure that you always have good contact with the tires to the ground. Okay. So that so, okay. gives you a lot of traction, braking force, and of course, corner speed. So, so it's, it's mostly suspension changes. No, no, there's no like extra little turbo boost or anything like that. No, no, not uh, not um, not extra turbo boost. But what we change as well is the load change in the car. So um, when you accelerate really hard and release the throttle, uh, then the car by releasing pitches a lot. So it helps you to rotate the car. Oh, yeah? that's cool. And at the same time, we um, developed as well. Now in in that car, we have the torque splitter in the rear. So the um, R torque vectoring control. It's yep. a new system, a formation system. And in the Nürburgring mode, we go up to 100% power to one wheel on the rear. Approximately the same than the drift mode, but uh, the 100% came much later compared to the drift mode. Drift mode, as soon as you put power and steer a little bit, you have 100% power on one wheel on the rear. And in the Nürburgring mode, um, we, we develop it in that way that it goes soft up to 100% to give you a good yaw rotation of the car. That's cool. We need, we need someone like you to explain every car's traction control system to us, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would love to do. I, would, I, I hope it's, it's understandable because, uh, to be honest, in that car we have a lot of electronical helpers, um, but it's not like uh, in the past where the electronical helpers disturbs you while, while driving, yeah? yeah? These electronical helpers uh, gives you much benefit in performance side. So we use these electronical helpers to um, to be better on timing if you do a hot lap. But uh, all the development uh, which have been done on the Golf R is just made by Volkswagen R. So we started up the program with the R uh, torque vectoring control 
Um, we launched it in the um, Arteon, uh, in the Arteon shooting break. We launched it. Oh, yeah. Then it came in the Tiguan, and now it's in the in the Golf. And of course, in the Golf, you go more further to the limits of this um, of this art torque vectoring. And for me, it's a, a very great feature. Would you would you believe that we don't get shooting breaks in North America? No, really. No, no, they don't like them. Nobody here likes them. They just want SUVs. We like them. We like them, yeah, but. So then you have to come to Europe. Yeah, yeah well, which we tried. We would have loved <laughs> to be there rather <laughs> right now rather than sitting here in a cold parking lot. Uh, so should we get back to driving? Yes, for okay. me, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Okay, so I read that apparently the traction control system has been recalibrated to allow for more slip. So if you're in ESC Sport, can you put it into ESC Sport and let us know what happens? Exactly. Yeah, I can do it. Because usually so, in the previous generation, it would cut the power and bog down pretty hard. No, it's not that much anymore. Of course, it will cut down now because we are on very slippy surface. And as soon as the car gets to a, a specific angle, it will cut down the power. Yeah. Let's see it. Let's, Let's see it. Yeah. Let's see it. Let's see how much angle. <laughs> Oh, it's enough angle. Yeah, it's I mean, it's it fine. looks fine from here. I still see snow coming up. It's really okay, I would say. That, that's pretty impressive. Okay, and, okay. And now, now it cuts, yeah? Yeah, now okay. it cuts. If, so I'm, if I'm more than 45 degree, then it cuts. And before I was even more than 45 degree. Okay, so they definitely awesome. recalibrated yeah, that's awesome. it. That's great. All right, now we have some more tests. We need you to go back to your drift mode. And while you're drifting, we need you to do a visor test. What, what's the visor? Okay. okay, this. So see, see okay, we'll, we'll put this right here, and then if there's yeah. sun on the way, we can go three, two, one, and pull. And see how it extends? See this? Ah, uh, no, but... No, but no, don't, don't, don't try it. Don't try it just yet. You got to do it uh, live there. while drifting. Okay, but there's no extension, huh? We don't, you don't know until you try. Well, we don't know. We got to find uh, yeah, out. Okay, sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, guys. Okay. So, so while you're driving, you got to go three, two, one, and then try to pull. And if okay. it doesn't go, it fails. And if it does go, it passes. And if it flies off, it that, ha passes. that happens too. One. <laughs> okay, but I, I am allowed to switch off the ESC completely again? Or? Yes, yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Preferably okay, do yeah. the visor test while you're drifting at maximum angle. <laughs> the more dangerous the visor yeah, test, the better. Because you're going to have to take one hand off to do it live. Um, and now we're going to maximum angle of drift. Three, two, one, go! Boom, boom, oh. boom! No, oh, okay. Fail. fail. But you fail. did it while drifting, so that's pretty cool. Okay, now the cup holder <laughs> But test. wait, maybe the Canadian one will pass, yeah. because every Canadian version that we've had of a Volkswagen has passed. Apparently, Europeans have curvy roads, so they don't need to extend their visors, but in North America, everything's straight, so the sun stays in your eyes for longer. All right, yeah, maybe because of that, yeah, could be. If, if you want to sign that visor and then send it to us, that's cool too. <laughs> that one here? Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just you put your signature, it. rip it off and, and put it in the mail. And Yuri will install it in his GTI, which passes actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will, I will uh, sort this one out. We need this visor to send them, uh, sign it by the mail. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, and do you have a coffee cup on hand? Uh, no. Okay. Should I get one? Actually, it looks fun. That yeah, yeah. So, how how is the steering and all that stuff? Everything feels totally normal. Like, doesn't feel weird or anything like that. You just you do what you want, and the car does it. Yeah, exactly. Even if I'm turning in, the car is still uh, rotating, even on that slippery surface. We don't have studs in the tires. We are just using standard winter tires. Okay. So, by the way, you don't have to say anything, but the Continental recommended tire would be the Viking Contact Seven. We had to say that. That's our sponsor, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's okay. Right here, you <laughs> okay, see that? A, oh yeah, it's a good, good tire. Yes. Yeah, yeah, sponsor plugs. Yes. I go and get the cup of coffee, right? Yes. Thank you. It doesn't have to be full. Um, ich bräuchte eine cup of coffee for the next test. Uh, they already, like, they already I, did it. They oh. already did it. But, but you got to test it on video. Yeah. Ah. If they have a cup, the smaller the better. Yes. yes. They say they didn't. Uh, they did the visor test as well. Three, two, one. 
Okay. But I, I told but them they, we did it as well now. Yeah, while they didn't drifting. do it while, yeah, you gotta do it while drifting. Exactly. And you want to make sure that the, this one is fixed yeah, here? Yeah, show you? Yeah, yes. yeah show, show us, please. Yes. <laughs> and just, just to see if it's easy to get in and out. Uh, oh, that's, oh. A, that's a pass. That looks good. Easy? Oh, wow. Oh, and it's got a little holder. Cup holder pass. Yeah, great, great yes. job, Volkswagen. Like hey, does, does that armrest right. extend forward or no? Yes. No, uh, the this armrest. One, yeah. Does it extend yeah. forward? Of course. Oh. Uh, and then when you tilt it, it locks. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. All right, I think that's almost everything. Well, we should do like zero to 100 just, just to see what happens. How can you get into our mode in that car? Um, yeah, I show you with my phone. I think you have this very Ooh. nice button here. Oh, it's okay. the R button. Can you see it? You yeah, yeah. One? Uh, with that one, with a short and soft press, you can toggle through the uh, through the modes, which I show you now. Oh, so that's now cool. So now it's on Nurburgring, on special. Then it it goes to individual. And then it goes to comfort. And one press again, it goes to sport or to race. And to reach special and drift, you have to press that one, and then you have to tell the system okay i want to drift okay awesome okay. okay that's cool and that automatically controls uh traction control as well exactly okay exactly yeah but if you for example an individual and you want to go back to race here you can do a hard press here where in nevertheless whichever mode you are in for example we take the individual mode now yeah if i put a hard press it jumps directly into race nice oh cool and then lastly, yeah. those paddles, I noticed they're a lot bigger than, uh, I guess, my paddles in my GTI or the old Golf R paddles. How are you liking yeah. them? Oh, yeah, of course. They are, maybe you have a look on this. Yeah, side. yeah. That makes it easy to drift, I guess. Exactly. You can, you can easy control because now you have a bigger, bigger way to adjust yeah, while you are steering. Even in cornering, you, you, you are um, you're able to shift down or shift up. It's much better than on the on the previous steering wheel. It helps yeah, you a lot. That's great. Awesome. So yeah, let's yeah. do a couple more launches. Let's get the zero to one hundred time as close to as we can on the snow. And then I got one curveball that I'm gonna throw your way after. Okay. I just <laughs> have to switch off the ESC system again. Aus. Ah, so you can you there's actually an offsetting because before there was exactly, wasn't. exactly. Yeah, you have. You uh, normally you go through that way here, yeah. But you have the possibility, and this is really nice in that system. You have the possibility to adjust these buttons here. Oh For wow! Example, now you have the ESC system here, and uh, start and stop function. For example. And those are your shortcuts. And now, yeah, and if I press it for a longer time, it opens oh. up a menu, and now I can choose, for example. Uh, let's say air conditioning, right? <laughs> I pull it, drag and drop, and now you have air conditioning. That's cool. Yeah, and the same you can do with ESC. For example, ESC, press for a longer time, and I would like to... Oh, uh, ambient lighting. Ambient lighting there. Put it here. Oh, that's cool. And now, when I swipe down i have ambient lighting instead of esc and everything looks pretty smooth too there's no lag from what i can tell very easy to do very easy to do guys okay back to the uh, launches back to the launches yeah, yeah. Do, do a launch again let's uh more, let, let's keep going more fast driving <laughs> so now launch zero to 100 yes. with launch control three two one Yeah. Wow, okay, and now already was a 98. So if you were on pavement, you could probably do that in about 4.7 seconds? Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, I have a curveball that I'm gonna throw your way. I need you to do a drift, and I'm going to give you your next instruction, and you're not gonna be ready for it. It's gonna be kind of crazy, but I wanna see what you can do. All right, let's go. Okay, adjust your climate control with the volume slider on the touch screen. How much degrees you want to have? Uh, 19. Okay, already 19. Done. Wow, how? He was already easy. set to 19. <laughs> With my fingers. I could do it much more easier. 
Do it again. Okay, okay. Give me 22 okay. degrees. Mid drift. Ha Hallo Volkswagen. Klimaanlage 22 Grad. Okay, done. Okay, right, well, you, you beat us at that's, our own game. That's cheater mode. <laughs> <laughs> so is that pretty much everything with the new 2020 Golf R in Austria drifting around a frozen track? Have you gone through everything that you would have liked to go through with us? Uh, I think, yes, everything w uh, is okay. So okay. I'm fine. Okay. As long as you are. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, this was fun. This is very different, totally different video than we've ever done. But this is very exciting. And we're excited to actually drive this once it arrives in Canada, which should be late 2021 as a 2022 model. So let's get to the price. We don't actually know the price in Canada. That's going to be announced later. But Benny, do you know the price of the one where you're located? Do you have any idea? Uh, the cars which, uh, which we have here presented is approximately around 58,000 euro with all the settings which are in. 58,000. Okay. Okay, that's kind of a with lot. The, <laughs> that sounds like quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, with, the, with all the options you, you can get, of course, you, you, you put a lot of things into the car, like uh, the exhaust pipes uh, from, uh, from Akraparich, which is uh, from titanium. You have the performance package, you have the leather seats, you have uh, 19 um, inch rims on the car, you have the sunroof. Um, yeah, all the options what you can get, uh, uh, those are fitted here in that car. Okay, and then this new Golf R compared to the old Golf R, it seems like there's a lot of improvements. Would you suggest the new one or the old one? Uh, for me, the new one. For me, and the new one. And then would you get it in DSG or would you get it in manual? No, if you ask me uh, this question five years before, I would say manual. But now with the DSG, you have, um, you have the possibility to be on manual mode without that the gearbox is shifting up. Plus you have the performance advantage uh, with, the, with the DSG gearbox. You have so, no disadvantage compared to the standard manual gearbox So as a, as a race car driver, you just want to go fast all the time. Exactly. Okay, that makes sense. All right, and I think that's pretty much everything. Thank you so much for helping us out with this virtual review across the world. Yeah, thank you for being Yuri and Jacob at once in Austria. Yeah. Do you want to tell our fans to subscribe? Maybe they'll listen to you more than they'll listen to us. You don't have to though. All right. Okay guys, please subscribe that video and follow <laughs> Benny Leuchter on Instagram. Yeah, yes. follow Benny. Follow Benny more than subscribing to us. That's right. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Benny. It was a pleasure. Likewise, this was fun. <laughs> that was yeah, that, that, that was great. Thanks Thank so, you so much. Hopefully we get to meet you one day. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully you like our YouTube channel and you know, we're trying our best, but you've been actually the best um, of everyone we've ever talked to about product stuff, you know more about the car and more specifics than anyone else we've ever spoken to. Yeah, like any in, in any, pro any product person or PR person or marketing person would have to say like, oh, I'll get you an answer later. You had all the answers ready, which is yeah. Even, even knowing how much faster it was on the Nürburgring without being in Nürburgring mode, all the stuff, next level. It's yeah, we're, we're gonna tell our guy, Thomas, that you were fantastic. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, thank you cool. for working with us on this.